Hello and welcome. Anarchy Kev here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a how to on evolving alpha dinos on the Arc Eternal mod. So, what I will do first, I'll show you all the alpha dinos and what can evolve and what can't evolve. Then I will show you how to evolve each dino. Okay, so let's get to it. So here you go. Here are all of the dinos and creatures that can evolve. So you've got the Megavarian, Mantis, Rock Drake, Tapajara. As you can see, they are all here. So this is every Arc Eternal Alpha in the Arc Eternal game. So these are all the ones that cannot evolve. But the thing we're going to focus on is the stuff that can evolve. They are all over there. So what we'll do, we'll start that end. And we'll work this way. But what we'll do is we will start with the arrows. Because as you can see, there are three of them. When it comes to evolving, the Alpha Eternal Dinos. There are three different variants. There's Lightning, there's Poison, and there's Prime. So to do this, you need 25 of these items. So to evolve it to a Lightning, you need 25 Blue. To evolve it to a Poison, you need 25 Green Gems. And to evolve it to a Prime, you need 25 Prime Blood. So what we're gonna do, as you can see, I've already lined up all of them with what they can evolve into. So, to evolve them, they need to have a saddle on. For this purpose, they all have Alpha Widen saddles. Because Alpha Widen saddles you can put onto any diner, any creature, no matter what it is, Alpha Widen saddle will work. Okay? So, they all have to have an, a saddle on. And 25 of each, should we say? So, this one I'm going to evolve into an alpha, um, an alpha lightning. To do this, what you need to do, you need to mount the liner, like so, and then you need to press X. So, what happened? Do that as you can now see. I'll bring you over here for a second. Come here. So, as you can now see, we have an Alpha Lightning. Hello, in all fairness, that looks really cool. But yeah, so you now have an Alpha Lightning. Hello, but the thing that has happened is I put a saddle on it, the saddle has gone. So, when you evolve it you will lose the saddle unless so we'll take, we'll take this one over here to do it so this one you have the green gems so this one would evolve into an alpha poison so once again you press the X if you want to keep the saddle, you need to be quick and do that. So to keep the saddle, you need to transfer it into your infantry before it can evolve. So once again, alpha poison. So I've shown you that once on how to keep it, but from now on, I'm just going to let them go. Kind of thing. So, this one has 25 prime blood in. So, same principle as all the others. You get the dino, saddle, and then you press X. So what will now happen is you will evolve into the prime variant of it. So, 
Not all prime variant, not all creatures with prime variants would evolve into the prime variant. Because there are prime carnos, there are prime basilisks, prime gigas, but these will not evolve into their prime. So you have to tame the prime version. Okay? So this here is the Alpha Indominus. As you can see, there is only one. Being as there is only one, it can only evolve into one variant. So, once again, to evolve this, it has to have a saddle, so you're riding it. You have to have the, the um, evolution stuff in it. So, in this case, the Indom can only evolve into the Prime, so it has to have the Prime Blood. Same principle as all the others. Press the X, and it will evolve. Turn it to stop following. And there we go. So it has now evolved into the Prime Indom. So that was two of them done. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on to the mm -hmm. Alpha Arch. Once again, taking into the center. Alpha Archies have two variants. So it has this one, which will be the Prime. So yeah, to evolve into the Prime, same principle. You have to mount the creature, press X, and then you leave it to do what it's got to do. And being as it's an RG, it flows away. Okay, but there it is. There's the prime RG. So these RGs, though, or Argentavius as they are actually called, have two variants. So there is the prime variant, and then there is this variant. So this you only need one of, so a TLC evolution potion. I forgot to do. It's a TLC evolution potion. Um, same principle as before. You have to be mounted on the back of it. Press X. What it will do, it has now evolved into the TLC version, which I think looks really cool. What do you want? So, our next creatures, creature, we have the Tyrandon. So with Trandon, there are two variants which this can do. So variant number one is the poison. So once again, you mount the creature, you make sure it's got a saddle, you make sure it's got the equivalent gems in its inventory, which is 25, for it to do it. And then once you're mounted, you press X. Sorry, I lied. You press control. So you press control. And then because X is one of its moves. So yeah, it doesn't do it that. So you won't pull that. Anyways. So with this, as it is a alpha trandon, because X is one of their moves. So what you do with these, you press control. So once again, saddle, blue gems, con control. So with that, it can now roll into the 
Lord Invariant. So, so far we have covered off Aloes, RGs, and Trandon. Trandons, oh, those primes, and Indom. So, mm -hmm. the next one we're going to do is the Ravagers. Once again, there are only two of them. So, being this is only two, they only have two variants. With this, mm -hmm. all of them have the same principle. You need to have a saddle on it, you need to have the correct gems in its inventory. So, to evolve this to a poison, you need 25 green gems. Then you press X. Let's have a look at it. There it is. <clears throat> so that's the poison variant of the Ravager. So next we are going to do. Didn't do that. So next we're going to do the lightning version of the Ravager. So you have to have the correct gems in its inventory. So to do this, once again, mountain creature, make sure it's got a saddle, press X. It will then evolve. And it's now evolved into the lightning variant. So you got the Alpha Elemental Lightning Ravager. So now, die bear. <coughs> you can guess what it is yet. So we've got three die bears here. Which means we have three variants. So, die bears. Once again, we have the saddle. So, and we have the blue gems. So, as I explained earlier, Alpha Wife and Saddle will be any creature can use an Alpha Wife and Saddle. So that's what I'm using as a demonstration for this video. So it's got a saddle on, it's got blue gems in its inventory. So I have mounted the creature, so I'm rising it. Now, you just need to press X. This one has evolved into an Alpha Lightning Diver because I used the blue gems. So, our next creature is this Alpha Diver. And with this one, because I've got the green gems in there, it's going to evolve into a poison. Same as before. On its back, press X. <laughs> Now we have poison. Now we have an alpha poison diver. So now we're going to move on to the next diver, which we have prime blood in. So being as we have prime blood, this one's going to evolve into a prime diver. Has it settled? Mounted on its back, press X. I'll just stay mounted on this one. There you go. So now it evolved into a prime diver. So, yes. So far, we now have another one done. Here we go. Frogo time. So, the alpha bell. 
So, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Buzzy Buffo. Froggo. We'll call it Frog. So, we've got the Alpha Froggo. Come on to the Alpha Froggo. Jump on his back. I've already equipped it with a saddle and the green gems. So, green gems, poison, as we've done before. Now, we press X and it will evolve. Do you know what? <coughs> quite a lot of frogs. And that's quite cool. Oh, oh it evolved into an other poison frog as well. Ah, froggy, sorry, not frogger. <coughs> so evolved into alpha poison froggy as well. I quite like that. I like that. So now, time to evolve the next one. This one here, once again, has the blue gems. Because it has the blue gems, to evolve into a poison. Let's leave you to evolve. Not poison, sorry. Blue gems evolve into life. And that... That is now an alpha poison froggy. That is... I like that. I do like... I like the colour rings. It's just... I like it. It's cool. So, you, my friend, have got prime blood in you. So, because you have the prime blood, I'm pretty sure we know what you're going to evolve into. You're going to evolve into a prime. So, once again, mount it, press X, jump off. And there we go. There's the prime one. So, by my reaction, pretty sure some of you are aware, I haven't done, haven't done some of these before. So, to move on to something I have previously done a how-to video on, it's the Rexes. So then, to evolve a prime, to evolve an Alpha Rex, once again we have three variants. I'll move this one forwards because when it falls, it's probably stuck in that one. So here we have a Alpha Rex, and we're starting with the Prime ones. So once again, we have a saddle, we have the Prime Blood, and then we press X. So now it will evolve, and there it is. It has evolved into a Prime Rex. So it's simple as that. You have the saddle, you have the stuff it needs, and then you just press X or Control or possibly C to evolve the creature. So onto the onto the next Rex variant. So this one will evolve into a poison because we have the 25 gems in his inventory and they are green. So press X whilst mounted. <coughs> then there we go. There it is. With its glowing green eyes. So on to the next one. Our next variant. We're going to evolve this into a blue gem rex. Well, not blue gem rex, sorry. We're going to evolve it into a lightning rex using the blue gems. So, as always, it has its saddle equipped. It has blue gems in its inventory. Then you press X, jump off. And there it is. Let's have a look at it. There we have it. We have a lightning rex. So that's the rex is done. Now let's go over here and let's do the alpha wyvern. So the alpha wyvern's a bit different to all the others. It's only a little bit different, but it's still a bit different. 
So you need 50 prime blood, or oh, I'm going to put 25. Here. So you need 50 prime blood to be able to evolve the Alpha Wyvern. So to evolve it, you still use the same principle. You have a saddle, then you put what you need in this inventory. So in this case, 50 prime blood instead of 25. And then you press X and it's good of all. And there it is. A prime wyvern. So now to move on to the jellyfish. I do think this is quite a weird slash cool creature. It's got so mainly because it can like fly. It's a jellyfish, it's meant to be in the water. But oh well. I think so. To evolve the eternal alpha jellyfish, as I said, I do think it's quite a cool creature to be fair. To do this, same principle as everything else, you need to have a saddle, you need to have some prime blood in its inventory, then you need to just press X, same as before, it will now evolve. I think I'm stuck inside. No, I'm not. There you go. And there you go. We have one prime jellyfish. So yeah, as I said, it's a strange but quite cool creature. But I, I personally, I think so too. We're getting close to the end now. As you can see, we just have the dragon and the griffins left. We'll leave the dragon till the end. But we'll now do the griffins. So, with the griffins, this one will evolve into a poison version of griffin, and it has a saddle on it, so we can mount it. So as we are mounted, it has a saddle, has the green gems, you just press control, and here we go. There it is, the alpha poison griffin. Let's have a proper look at you. That's cool. I like it. I like it. I think it is cool. So, this one should have 25 blue gems on it. That's fast. So it does. Which means this one will evolve into a lightning version of this variant. So to evolve it, same principle. You have to mount the creature, saddle, then press control. So now it is done. It's got the yellow and the blue, and that looks, that looks really cool as well. I think, to be fair, I think my favorite is still frog, how they look. Those frog variants, pretty awesome. So, the finale. We're gonna finish with this bad boy. So, as you can see over there, I quite like So, same principle as before. We have the saddle, we have the prime blood. So, here it is. And all we have to do, press the X button, it will now evolve. And there it is. So, we now have a Prime Dragon. So, I have now shown you every variant of the creatures and how to evolve them. My next video I will do, I will also do a video to show you the Prime Dinos and what they evolve into and how to do it. Because Primes get a bit more different as well. Because like they evolve differently, but the wyverns can evolve into unknown. Next time I will show you that. But thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you found this how-to video um, interesting and informative. So thank you for joining me. Come join me next time. And I also stream Arc Eternal on YouTube as well. So come join me for that. 
feel free to hit that subscribe, that like and that notification button. And I will see you next time. Catch you soon.